part, um, I add my new plants in there. They're all going to be going in here because I want this to be all nice and foresty looking and all that good stuff. So, yeah. And these are the plants here. I'm going to pull them out and show you. I've got three bags. Um, this one is from Petco. And these two are from a local pet store. So, let's open them and put them in quickly. Okay, so, from the local pet store, I got two of these. They were $3. Very good prices, actually. These pretty fancy little dudes. And then, I think this was a water wisteria, I think, or something like that. I don't remember entirely, but this is a very cool plant. It's going to make it look very nice and full in there. And for Petco, I've got the Lugua Ludwiga, I don't know how you pronounce that, right here. And then I've got this one here, too. I don't think they're the same type. They look a little different. Or maybe they are the same, I don't know. But, yeah. And then I've got this one here, which I'm hoping it'll grow. He said it's a, it could be a little hard to grow them, but hopefully it'll grow. And then I've got this micro sword, so it can grow like nice and grass. And it can look pretty amazing, so let's get ready to put them in here. Okay guys, so it's been a couple of hours now. The water has cleared up. Um, just real quickly, ignore that food. I accidentally put that in here. I did not mean to put it in there. I wasn't paying attention. But it's okay. It'll melt and it'll go away. Whatever. Um, so, yeah, this is the tank now since the water's cleared up. These are... Most of them are new plants. So, these two over here are my older plants. The ones that I've had for a while now. I just replanted them up here in the front. And also smaller pieces here. And then on the back over here we can get a look over there is another older plant of mine so yeah now let's get started so we've also got so I went to Petco and I got four plants from there I don't remember the exact names but I'll show you them in a second and then I went to another local pet store and got two other plants so let's take a look. This is the first plant that I got from Petco. Right here. I decided to plant it over here. The guy said these are kind of hard to grow. You need a good light. And I think if you guys have this fish tank, for me, this light works pretty good. Like I got one plant to grow about three feet, which was pretty incredible. So hopefully this will work. I was very interested in this because it's it's got like a nice red color with some green. And I was going to get a purple plant, but he didn't recommend it. He said, you need really good lighting. You probably won't make it. I was like, okay, fine, that's fine. I'll get it maybe some other time. But this is good. And I liked how, like, bushy it was. It provides lots of hiding spaces for fish. Even though, as you can see in here, I've only got one goldfish in here. And two guppies. And the two guppies I got in here, like I said before, they are, um deformed like you know so I didn't want them to breed with my other guppies so I just threw them in here and they're hiding in here somewhere you can't find them anymore <laughs> so the second plant that I got is this one right here this hair grass looking plant um I don't know if I remember the name exactly I might have the st stickers still not the stickers but the yeah I do actually oh yeah it's the micro sword right here that's what that is and it'll grow around like hair grass which is what I really wanted to grow around here I think that would be incredible and super cute and this is like good hiding space kind of wish I'd gotten these plants when I had shrimp would have been so cool to see shrimp all around here and the babies would thrive incredibly oh yeah if it's okay next time so I've got the second one back here uh, I forgot what I think these are called Hornet or something like that. Hornwort, Hornet, I don't remember. Something like that. These nice stringy looking ones. Pretty cool. I love them. They're very nice looking. Let's see if I can show you from the back here. It was so hard to plant these because of the um, wood and all that stuff. The logs. I didn't want to mess them up. Not really logs, but wood. Anyways. Um, next plant I got is this one right here, which is a very interesting plant, like, 
I don't remember the name of it, but when you touch it, it feels so weird. Like, I don't know, it's over here too. I got like one uh, bunch of them and she said you can cut them like halfway and then replant them. So I planted one there in the back, a couple in the back here, as you can see, and right here mixed with the other plant here. And then another plant that I also got is this nice looking green one, which the name for that is this guy. I think it'll focus. Hold on. Oh, it's upside down. Wow, sorry guys. I don't know. But it's it's lots of depth and greenery, which is very nice. And then in the back, I've also got a different one back here, which I need to replant because I, I didn't notice I didn't plant that in. So I'm gonna have to stick my hands in and dig in a little bit more. So it goes in. But as you can see, the fish still have enough swimming or swimming, yeah, swimming room. Oh, well, there's a guppy that just swam by. So, yeah. Still got a good wiggle room. And yeah, I will be taking this um, goldfish out when it gets bigger, but I'm just keeping it in here because it's swimming a little bit funny. And I did a video on him already, which you'll see before this, but. Um, he's swimming really funny. I don't know if he's sick or what. I got him from Petco. I just couldn't leave him behind. I felt bad. So I just brought him home. Um, I believe it's a black moor. Could be wrong, but that's what it is said at Petco. But he's in here with also two guppies. And also two auto stinklers. I think that's how you pronounce it. I, I can't even pronounce it correctly two of those and a couple of snails I don't know if I said that already and I think that's about it no more shrimp guys they all died I don't know I think because of the guppies I had in there I think the guppies ate all of them the baby guppies and they grew into like um teenage guppies I guess I don't know and the, the population just wiped out which I do want to in the future again make this into a guppy tank so yeah but for now I mean guppy I want to make it into a shrimp tank. If not, then maybe I'll make it into a beta tank. Beta sorority, but we'll see. Anyways, the plants. So, I, I like it. I feel like the setup is very relaxing and peaceful. I love this filter because you can't hear it. The other filter you guys are hearing is my other tanks. So, yeah. I think it's my salt water one. But yeah, let's take a closer look. Now I know I may look overstocked with plants, but I kind of like it. It feels like I'm looking into the forest or something, my own little forest, which is really, really cool. I love this table, or this table, this fish tank. It's just, it's so, like, elegant, classy, beautiful. It cost me a hundred and something. It's very cheap. Um, I did, like I said, I cracked it over here and I... I Put it some super glue and it's kind of that's why it's all over the place but we managed to fix the crack but now it looks a little bit messy but then again it looks better than it did before with the crack because it was really noticeable so let me know what you guys think of this setup what do you guys think i know the plants will overtake the tank but i will move them to the 29 gallon when they start to do that so yeah, but for now they're okay. I just want them to grow big and healthy in here before I move them into the other tank. Look at this guy. I really hope he'll be okay. Because, you know, I don't want him to die. He's a sweet fish. I fed him earlier. Definitely not these big ones. I don't know why I accidentally put them in here. I think I accidentally mistaken them for sinking pellets for some weird reason. Because I feed my shrimp sinking pellets. So yeah, shrimp pellets I believe. 
it's my snails or whatever. I think my auto cats are going to like this too because they're going to be able to swim around more without feeling so exposed because they were always hiding before. I don't know. It's very nice. This would be definitely, again, a very cool beta sorority because there's lots of hiding places for them. Um, if I were to get beta, I'd probably get like five in here or something. I don't know. I believe it's six gallons or five gallons. I think six gallon tank. I'm not entirely sure. But if you guys want me to link this, I can definitely link it. It comes in white and I think silver, maybe, maybe black. I don't know. I don't remember. But I know it comes in white or silver. I want to get another one of these and kind of put them at a table. Like a, my, at my nightstand or something would be so cool. Once I upgrade my my bedroom and such. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of this setup. Do you like it? Do you like the plants? Um, let me know if you guys have certain... certain if you guys have any of these certain plants and let me know if they've grown good for you or whatnot. They were very cheap, at least the ones from the local pet store, like um, that one back there and this one, they're like three bucks each. And these were like four or five bucks, so it's just pretty cheap, you know, but they were cheaper than Petco's, which is interesting because that girl usually, everything is overpriced for Petco, but I'm not complaining. I'm going to show you the side view real quick. This water is clear, like it's always so clear guys. If you guys, um, you may notice that when you put wood in here, the water can get brown. It's called tenons, for a reason or whatever. It can get brown and ugly and whatever. I, I would suggest if you want to put wood in your tank, keep it in a bucket of water like for five not five days even longer a week or a month or so before you put them in the tank if that way you can it can release all the tenants and it won't be as brown when you put them in your actual tank that's what I would suggest doing because but I kept mine in here without doing that and it did get brown but then it eventually after doing water changes and such it just you know did not stay that Oh look, he's eating uh, the flakes. What a cutie. A pellet or whatever. That's too big for you, honey. But it's softening up, so I think he'll be okay if he eats it. But yeah. I'm um, definitely uh, pleased with this setup. And also, you guys, you can see from the top of the fish and stuff. I kept a couple in an inch or so off the top just so this fish and the two others can get used to breathing because you know it'll take them a while to get used to to get used to breathing just by that small square area but for now I think it's okay yeah let me know what you guys think of this new setup and yeah I'll see you guys in another video thank you for watching